Yo, what's up guys, Steven here, back with another video. Today in this video, I'm gonna be doing a switch trade, or switch light trade, I should say. Gray switch light, brand new, picked it up today for $291.19. I'm currently trading it for, uh, like Wii games, all those Wii games, not, those are mine, but like, example, like I'm trading it for Wii games, N64 with a controller, um, what else? A Paper Mario GameCube game. DS, some DS games, I think. Etc. I'll, I'll put some screenshots probably right here. If you can see. There's one of them. There's another one. There's another one. And there's another one. One more. But yeah, uh, all those games. So yeah, not too bad. Alright guys, didn't bring my backpack brought this ikea bag hopefully everything fits the switch is in here as well if you don't believe me switch purchased it today for 291 dollars let's cut to the chase let's get to what i got all right guys got all the stuff actually i'm gonna go sit down somewhere and show all of you guys what i got oh boy i have to cross this somehow no screw it. i'm just gonna walk through all of this or teleport Three, two, one. What's up, guys? I'm back. Uh, currently by the river. You guys see how high the water is? It's crazy. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to show you guys what I got. By the way, what I'm holding right now, like, what I'm holding my phone on is games. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's about 13 games on the back and like eight in the front. I'm going to show you guys what I got in the bot in the bag. First, let's start off with the N64 controller. Great, I mean, you, got, you can look at look at the stick. Does it wobble? No, barely moves, which is good. Put that right there. Start with some Funkos. He just threw these in. I think these are all brand new. No, they look a bit dirty, but these are pretty cool just to throw in. That's nice. Sorry if it's a bit windy. Uh, I have this Funko. Pretty cool. This one's really cool. This is a, I think this is, I think this is kind of like a Batman figure. Uh, Scarecrow Imposter, looks really cool. Start with a good DS game, Mario Kart DS. I actually have only the case and manual for this, so I could probably sell this one, or yeah, I'll sell this one. Nearly all this stuff in here is probably gonna get sold because. If you can tell, like, let me just pull a random game. You can see, you see James Bond. I don't know if you can see that, but like, you see it on the bottom of his chin. Like, look at the sun fade. That's from sun fade. Like when it's been in the sun for quite some time and the sun just absorbs the color out of it. But look at the bottom of his chin. That's what his skin color was. Still a great game though. Uh, I'm gonna test everything, see if it works. Most likely it does. These games are really easy. If they don't work, you really just clean the hell out of it. That's pretty much what makes it work, 99% of the time. Uh, ooh, let's, let's go with the Game Boy. All right, sadly, it does not have a um, number, model number, but we could probably just tell what it is. Let's start with some of the games. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, classic. What the heck is this? Collector Series Arcade Advanced, I believe. That looks cool. Rugrats, you can tell by this one, like look at the color, it's like absorbed out of it. Sun fade. And yeah, you can tell by Shrek. Shrek is not blue. You see that? The Shrek, like the lettering, is like blue. It's not supposed to be like that. But yeah, um, the Game Boy Advance SP. I think this is called Graphite, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, he did not have a charger with it. He showed me a picture of it working though. Oh, and there's a game inside. No label. I think this is the Donkey Kong one. There's a Donkey Kong swing. Uh, it's a bit flimsy. All right. I see that pretty cool i don't want to be out here for too long because it's a bit windy and there's people since i'm at like a local parkish i'd say uh 
right, let's, let's start off with the big boy. N64, no expansion pack, but does come with a jumper, which is always good. These always sell for like, I'll bundle this with like two controllers. No, probably just the one controller that I got with it. I don't wanna like get stuff out of my own stuff. Yeah, I'll probably bundle it with this and that for like 130 or something like that, 130. Or I might add another controller, add 150. Uh, but yeah, a lot of great stuff. Let's start with the games pretty quickly. Sonic Colors, I mean, Sonic Secret Rings, complete. Once again, sorry for the wind. Tony Hawk Shred. Raving Rabbids, this is a classic game. I actually really, I'm a big fan of this game. Not complete, doesn't matter though. Uh, NHL 2K9. The Godfather. Ooh, backhand edition, and it's complete. Is in good condition though. For the looks of it, doesn't look too bad. Outside though can uh, be bad because the glare. So, for example, if I were to look at that in my house with an actual light bulb, it would probably be worse. This is a pretty good one. I found this one at the thrift store before for like ten bucks. It sells for about twenty. Nice and complete. That's what we like. Yeah, like as I mentioned, majority of these games will be sold. Dude, look at the background though, like, that's so pleasing. It's a bit cold out, but who cares? A big hitter for me would be Mario Party 8. I do have a copy of Mario Party 8 at home. This one's not complete, but I have a manual at home. Um, this one appears to be in all right condition. Hopefully it works. He said every game worked. But at home with my Mario Party 8, I got it resurfaced and everything. After you play a, like, a second round, like you do the mini game stuff, you battle each other, and after you play a second round, it always like disconnects for some reason, which is really weird. Cables for the N64, very good. Put that right there. Let's we'll start off with some SNES, or NES games that I also talked him into just putting in. Alright, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, once again, sorry for the wind. This is, you can tell this is old just by the bandanas, I mean, all of them are red. You know, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, now they have blue, red, purple, and orange. So yeah, that's really cool, I remember having this game. Super Mario Bros, classic, sells for about like 20. Marble Madness, I think it sells for about like 5 to 10. Baseball, we're not even going to talk about that. So golf, we're not even going to talk about that one either. A lot of these games seem to be in fair condition. Uh, a big hitter would be Paper Mario. Yeah, look, look at the back, guys. You see, look the, you see how good the color is, and look at that. It's near white. That's supposed to be yellow. I see white. It's pretty uh, faded, but nonetheless, the game t game appears to be in good condition. I'm probably just gonna sell this for like eighty dollars with a GameCube system. Or just buy itself for 80 or 75 because faded a lot and it's player's choice. We don't like player's choice. It appears to be he cleaned everything before he gave gave it to me because some of these games are stuck together. And like usually I used to do this. Uh, clean stuff really fast and then you stack them together like this and they kind of get stuck with like a Lysol wipe. Tinkerbell, bro, who puts it sideways? Oh my god. I do not like people who do this because it's a struggle to get them out. Never put a DS game sideways. Always put it this way. You know, the DS, this DS thing should be facing up here, not right there. All right, it's, it's been going on for eight minutes now. Oh boy, I gotta hurry this up. I don't wanna take your guys' time. Lego Harry Potter, years one through four. Sega Casino, Call of Duty 3. That's pretty cool. Carnival games, complete. I have all this, I got one 3DS game. Uh, this is a DS game, but this is a 3DS game. It feels pretty heavy. What the heck? Also, the game is sun faded. You guys can see that? Look how red the manual is compared to like that. I don't know if you guys can see it that good, but yeah. All right, put the stuff that I already showed you guys back in the bag. And then, we will, or let's move on to the stuff that's behind the camera. Three, two, one.
All right, guys, hopefully you can hear me, but these are the games that were behind the camera. Uh, I think this is probably the best one out of all of these. Or this. Jesus. Ooh, Globs of Doom, that's pretty cool. I had this for DS before. Pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with this trade. Nothing like heavy hitting like Chrono Trigger from my OLED trade, but that's an OLED switch, so it's reasonable. I got this, I'm not even gonna say it. I got this uh, today, the switch. Uh, Sonic Racing. Okay, yeah, nothing heavy hitting. I think he threw, yeah, he threw this one in too because there was gonna be an Ultimate Alliance one for PS2, but there was no game in it. I should just ask for the empty case. Pretty cool. Igor the game. Ew. Igor the game. Dude, this game apparently sucks. Anyways, other games we got was Far Cry, Vengeance, Elibits, Disney Infinity, Raving Rabbids, uh, Nemo, SpongeBob, Madagascar. So yeah, nothing heavy hitting in this little stack. That might be good. I don't know. But yeah, that's gonna end today's video. Oh, bro, look at the sun fade. Look at that. Look at that. Anyways, I mean, enough of me complaining. Uh, that's the end of today's video. Peace.